Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play Archeon the Everchosen, Warhost of the Apocalypse with Fallen Sandwich Gaming. Uh, in our first episode, we consolidated our starting province and resurrected one of our vassals. And then we started a war with Boris Urson and resurrected a second one of our vassals, and now we have them backed up into their last settlement. And we're going to be taking this battle in just a second, but please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. So here we go. We're mostly marauders, some dogs, a little bit of cavalry. Um, they're mostly Khazars. A couple of armored Khazars with great weapons. But these reinforcements are going to take two minutes to arrive, so we're hoping to overwhelm them before they get here. So let's jump right into it. Warband mechanics are really, really great. Um, and I'm... <laughs> I'm definitely enjoying the way they play. Uh, in my own time, I already played and completed a Sigvald campaign. Uh, which we might look at doing something with Sigvald again in the future. But I figured Arkham was a good shot because the ability to confederate other access to that. Okay, let's start the deployment. Now, there's a few different ways into this settlement. So, let's back on up. Yeah, this is probably best case scenario. We're just going to try to overwhelm them here as quickly as we can. So, let's go Warriors of Chaos on this side, Corn Halberds on this side. And then we'll go Corn Marauders here with two units of regular Marauders backing them up. Slanish Marauders here with our other two units of regular Marauders. We'll get our Poison Warhounds are going to come in on the back side if they can. With support from our cavalry elements. Let's turn off skirmish mode on these guys. I think it would probably be a good pairing to have the spawn here and the trolls here. Let's get the hell cannon involved. So we'll just move it up to there so it is instantly in range. And then both of these guys here. Let's start the battle. Alright. My master's call. The gods will. It is done. Blood some brothers. And destruction's name. Yeah, so they have kind of pulled back straight into the center and turtled up. So I don't think it's going to be difficult at all to get some work done in here. Okay. Now those Slanish Marauders are going to be able to get in fast. Okay, there are the War Bears there. Let's bring these guys around. Alright, we've already captured that. So, those are the dervishes. Pull these back. In ruination's name! Marauder horsemen! For chaos! Okay, we're overwhelming this side pretty easily. Yes! Slanishes the first! Marauder 
their horsemen! Fathers for orders! Okay. Battle is going well so far. Are those war bears still up? They are. Okay, the dervishes are down. Oh, let's bring these guys around. Trolls are <laughs> taking their pound of flesh over there. Oh, this guy is actually taking a lot more damage than I expected him to. Let's just drop a Syrian Doom over here, try to get this over with quick, because here come the reinforcements. Yep, we're gonna get a good charge there on the Kossars. Quick! Sweet, sweet, slow top! Get them! Now, change to darkness! Okay, that's all taken care of there. Alright! This is going very well, which is to be expected. Let's try and move our Hell Cannon into the center here. Gotta go fast. Now is our time! Alright. Chaos Knights of Siege! Very well! Make claim! Get into the back of these spear cossars here. Sealed to our steeds. We will hunt. Eye of the gods. Archeon. My blade hungers. You know what? Let's just keep these guys over on this side. Running! Let's just charge down these these little leftover costars over here. And we're gonna use the chaos trolls and the spawn to get in down there. Let's bring these guys around. Yeah, we don't want to just be sitting there taking fire, so. What? Exalted hero. 
Okay, we're going to get these guys right in the back here. Chaos Marauders! Yes! Transgression and submission! Changer direct me! Okay. Our Chaos Warhounds are going to take their pound of flesh. Alright, the towers are down. And there we go. That is full route. We are going to chase. Yes! Nurgle's pestilent glory! Corruption. Exalted hero. All right, let's put this on three speed. scrambling all over the place. Bad day to be that guy. Just want to make sure we get all the armored costars over here. And it looks like that's enough of them. Alright. So there you go. Thanks, easy clean sweep against early Kislev. Um, yeah. Definitely the way you want to do things. <coughs> I just want to get in there nice and early and get Boris out of the way. I do believe that was their last settlement, so this should be the end of them. Okay. We're going to gift to the vassal. Yeah, so it gave us the option to subjugate there. And that means this is the last settlement that they own. Alright, and now we've got Archaon's unique mount. So, I think we go uh, Spirit Leech, Burning Head. I don't necessarily like the Flaming Sword of Rune. Um, it is good against demons, but we don't want to be fighting demons all the time. We could go Ruinous Unity, Ruinous Leadership, or Ruinous Wrath. The magical attacks on this guy are a pretty big deal, so let's just go with the Ruinous Wrath there. Okay, now, what do they have left? <laughs> They've got three units. Um, we'll go stand... Well, are we standing in reinforcement range? I Probably not, but that's fine. Now, there is a unit of Forsaken here. I don't think I'm going to bother swapping anything out for them. Uh, Forsaken are good early game, and that's about it. So I think we're going to leave that where it is. We're going to go up and get the Burning one We're going to ignore the Path to Glory and keep it moving. Ah, see, so Burris, <laughs> Ursin uh, does not die easily, it seems. So, we're going to have to just turn around and kill him real quick. It should be an easy auto resolve. Okay, just turn around, finish them off. Decisive victory with low casualties, we'll, we'll do that every time. 
Let's gift to the vassal again. Um, I guess look on the bright side, it was a free level. Let's see here. Mm, Grand Marshal of Chaos. That's a good one, because when we get our second army up and running, it's going to be much, much stronger. Let's see here. They are at war with anybody, so they are at war with the all-seeing eye. So, if we get the chance, we are going to uh, extort the all-seeing eye for some money so that we can go to war with them. I think they were just force marching down here to go to war with Orson, so... The world is our oyster now. We really get to decide what we want to do. Um, I think it is another... I think it is an easy decision to go up here and get the other Black Fortress off of these corn demons. Um, you know, they're not going to be a major threat to us. Especially now that we have some magical attacks going. This is just another quest battle for the armor of Morkar. Again, we just want to be a little bit more experienced uh, in terms of our army's abilities before we take that fight. Let's see. He has a 12-stack army. He's heading for the Hound Citadel that has a 7-stack garrison. I wonder if we just jump the Howling Citadel as soon as we can. And swing back around for the Burning Monolith. Uh, what's that? This is just another Lord in the middle of recruiting. We don't really have a lot of money. Let's see if we can do any upgrades. So, we can't go to Chosen anywhere. That costs 144 to change, which isn't that big of a deal. Um, I think it is better to go to the Warriors with dual weapons if we're going to be facing off with corn. So I think we do that. Let's see. The Marauders of Zinch, we can't move up yet. Marauders of Corn can't move up yet. And we don't have any regular Marauders ready to upgrade. These guys are almost there, but we don't have the research for it. Ah, Armored Trolls. Okay. I think that is fine for now. And we'll move on. Now again, I just... I'm just moving up here to make sure we get our hands on the Howling Citadel um, first. You know, the Burning Monolith is, is still necessary for us to go over and get. The eye of Syrian is only this is the all-seeing eye here. So, we're actually just going to decline this for now. We do plan on doing business with them in just a moment. Okay. So... We are not yet in range of either of these settlements. But with that being said, I still feel comfortable going into raiding mode here. Ooh, it would be really nice to get those aspiring champions. Spawn of Corn. Let's just take a look here. So the Mark of Corn gives Frenzy increased spell resistance but reduced melee defense. they cause fear. I'm wondering... No, the trolls are better. Okay. So we'll raid them for a turn and hope Corson moves off. Um, which will give us a chance to just take the Howling Citadel right out from under them. And they're still willing to offer us military access while we're uh, raiding and destroying them, so. Oh good, it actually looks like uh, one of their armies was taken out by our Zinchian allies here. As long as they don't lay siege, we can stay friends. 
Control plus two, leadership plus five, tribute from vassals plus twenty percent. We're doing pretty good on money right now, so I'm gonna go for the mass executions. Now we are going to offer their join their war against the bloody sword. And they'll give us six hundred gold for it. Alright, so now we're at war with the bloody sword. Now that army is gonna back us up as we assault the Howling Citadel, so. This is a Pyrrhic victory with medium casualties. Interesting. Um, I think I'm okay with taking this, because this is their main army sitting here. Okay. We are going to occupy and vassalize. Now, we already have the Tong as a vassal, so it's not like we got a lot from that. Alright. And then we're going to go for Abyss Forged Armor. And we don't have any chosen yet. We only have one unit of knights. And hero capacity and hero recruit rank for exalted heroes. That's pretty good. We might actually... I'm not sure if we're able to recruit exalted heroes right now, so we might save that. And I think we will just go for the evasion. Alright. And then our exalted hero has a level up. So let's go a point and two hard hit. Okay, off. Melee attack and melee defense, uh, I find end up being really underrated skills. They're definitely the kind of things you want to be picking up. Now we can just replace these marauders. Uh, like we said, we're kind of flush on cash right now, so I'm not afraid to just... One, two, and... You know what? Let's, let's get the Swanicorn. Why not? Let's just see how they do. Building upgrades, the Howling Citadel, again, we're just gonna go money and growth. Because there is no other... There is no other, uh, corn army in the area, so we're gonna just turn around, take down the Burning Monolith, and this is a job well done here. Let's end the turn. Okay. Yeah, I'm really liking Archeon's uh, early game so far. It seems like it really feels like you're just taking the time to unite the Chaos Wastes. If this guy beats us to the Burning Monolith, we're going to have to declare war on him before we want to. Um, we shouldn't have any more gifted units. I wouldn't focus too heavily on the gifted units. I mean, demons are good and interesting, but there's very few you actually uh, want to take the time to use in your armies. You know, um, it's it's usually you get more bang for your buck just going with the actual warriors of chaos units. There's definitely utility in in some of the demon units, like demonettes and blood letters are, are both things I would look into potentially. But outside of that. Um, there's not too much that the demons do better than your base warriors of corn. Okay. So he didn't move on the burning monolith, but neither can we, really. Uh, we're still about a turn away. Alright, we'll get there next turn, so... Mm, not overly concerning. I could go for Chaos Knights of Corn, which would then become Skull Crusters of Corn. Mm, I don't really want to give up Just want to be careful what you upgrade and when you upgrade it. 
Yeah, I think I'm fine with that. The attack here, because uh, then they were going to have to take him down right now. <laughs> I mean, it would be good to catch his army out and force march like that. Uh, which maybe we can after we take the burning monolith. I mean, it's only a four-stack garrison, it looks like. So that's really not <laughs> uh, not going to put up much of a fight. Um, if it doesn't give us a favorable auto-resolve, obviously that is what it is, and we're going to have to go in there and do it ourselves, but um, as far as taking down these demons of corn, it, uh, you know, we played it the right way. And we got a little lucky as well. Alright. Hey, look at that. Uh, let's go Foe Seeker. Alright. Okay. Um, so let's go take the Burning Monolith. Decisive victory with low casualties. Um, yeah, we're not going to fight this, guys. This is just easy. And we will gift that to our vassal. You don't want to be subjugating to any of the demon races, really. I mean, you could, but um, it's almost always going to bite you in the ass. These guys are at war with the Legion of Chaos, and we haven't met them. Um... So, we're not going to be able to kind of cheese money out of it, but we are going to be able to get the jump on them. So, we'll just go right ahead and... Uh, you know, this is giving us another decisive victory with low casualties. And I just don't want you guys to have to watch kind of a boring fight. Alright, we'll go for the replenishment again. You know, we're going to replenish on our way to the next area, but we just don't want to be caught out of position at all. So, Crystal Spires is probably objective number one there. The world is old. And we are going to send these guys to the Port of Secrets. Um, you know, we, we do want to wrap things up here with the demons. We don't want to be fighting them forever. Hmm. So, I think this is a good time to go for the Purple Sun. And... Woundmaker on the Dumped Hero. So we can get more Chaos Warriors. I think we're going to go for the regular ones. I like the Hell Scourges, but they're slower and they have less melee attack. Uh, they're more of a defensive unit, and we are definitely an on the attack kind of army. Oh, and we can get more. Regular Chaos Warriors. So that's good. That's good. Very good. Um, and I think we go for the Chaos Knights of Slanesh as well. So now we're getting to be a little bit of an elite army. This is definitely what we wanted to see. We get the Horse Masters here. Um, I'll tell you what. After a turn of replenishment, it might even be worth doing our first quest battle. With our commandment available, we are going to just go for our undivided corruption and move along. Yeah, so far consolidating the chaos waste is going very well. Um, you know, obviously once we move down in here, this is all Skaven. This is probably where I'm planning to go next. Um, I'm not sure too much else of too much of of what else is over here. Um, you know, it might be worth kind of continuing on, but we'll see. Uh, I don't want to get stuck up there when there are other options. Okay, so they are at Crystal Spire, but they're not recruiting yet. I think this is a good time to do the Slayer of Kings quest battle. So, let's go ahead and open this up if we can. Yeah, it's mostly Chaos Warriors, a couple of Knights. I mean, I think we match up with this pretty well. So he goes, As Archeon rides onward, many challenge him, but none can stand before his might. Sparing those who swear fealty, he slays the rest, claiming their warbands as his own by right of conquest. That's fairly accurate to what we're doing right now. Now he receives word of another challenger, one who will not bend the knee. A mighty chaos sorcerer lord defies him, daring to offer battle with a horde 
of warriors under his command. The sorcerer wields the wild energies of entropy itself, reshaping reality to better serve his whims and those of his dark masters. A word and a gesture from him can strip the flesh from a man's bones, or cause a regiment of soldiers to burst into flames. Archaon makes his final preparations to pit the martial might of his troops against the raw magical power of his adversary. Let us go and claim the Slayer of Kings. Ooh, a valiant defeat. I don't love that. Do not love that. Oh, you know what? We'll put that on the trolls here. Valiant defeat just means it's totally winnable. So let's get on in there. It's not too much of a setback doing these quest battles because most of them award you additional casualty replenishment at the end. So it's actually, um, it's actually pretty conducive to get in here and just do them. You tell him, Archaon. My swords of chaos. Let us show this weakling conjurer who would be loyalty. What I do for months. He will see why I am the lord of the end times. Why I am the ever chosen. And why I will wield the slayer of kings. And there's our horde. Okay. Let me just. Get a little screenshot of our boy Archaon here. Alright. Well, there's the enemy army right out in front of us here. Um, just try to think. They do have their own hell cannons. So, we want to keep our forces pretty spread out. Dark Prince's minions! Wolffather's warriors! Pastfather's marauders! Takers of scouts! Marauder horsemen! Unless we're in range with this, yeah, we're going to allow it to move up to fire back on their own hell cannon. So let me just group the infantry, that way I don't uh, move the cav with them. Actually, these should be their own group. Okay, we do have the Chaos Warriors with great weapons over here. Again, gotta remember to turn Skirmish Mode off, because it's definitely not, uh, <laughs> it's not there for us. Blood for the blood god! Seas of blood! 
Sorry, I do need to focus on this battle a little bit, so... Um... I'll try to... Uh, continue to give you some commentary on what's going on. Let's juke these guys through here. Okay. I need these two to get on that lord. Alright, we lost the horse masters there. Here's our cow. There we go. Ex fathers were orders. They are taking some damage in this fight, but nothing we can't manage and nothing we can't bounce back from. It's very important that we get this Sorcerer Lord down. Knights of Slanesh! Unbridled destruction! Who's not involved? We need to get these guys out. Okay, we've routed him off. Oh, did we lose our hell cannon? Oh yeah, we definitely did. For orders of call! With fury and hatred! Archeron! Chaos Knights of Zinch! Spreading ruination! Seas of blood! Do not meddle in my destiny! Marauders of Korn! We bring ruin! Yeah, the chariots are... are our biggest issue here. What? Time to despoil. Kill, maim, burn. Keep dropping searing dooms down in here. Yeah, that did good damage. Of Slanesh! Torment them! Okay, it's actually not going God, not going God. poorly, so. Um Syrians I will see. The world will scream. Perfect suffering! Souls of chaos. Guided by chaos! Warriors of Slanis! Now is our time! Archeron! For the Chaos Gods! 
a pretty good searing doom down there. Overwhelming okay. sensation. Back here, what's up? Where are my knights? All shall die! Find it, victims! Come, Dorga! Kill me, burn! Okay. okay. Warriors of Torn! Slanish expects suffering! Reap their souls! Alright, we're just about done here. All is chaos! Ah, there we go. Oops! Kind of nuked our own spawn in Ergo there, but man, those guys put in work. So, a Pyrrhic victory. Um, this is fine. Let's see. I mean, we lost the Hell Cannon, which sucks, but it's just so hard to keep Hell Cannons alive. Um, we probably lost both the units of dogs, which is okay. Um, dogs are gonna fall off sooner or later anyway. Um, but it looks like we managed to keep all of our Marauders alive. And most of our Warriors, of course, our Spawn are also alive. So, this is looking pretty good. Um, we're just going to finish out the turn, and then... We're just going to finish out the turn here, and then we will pick up next time. Um, let's just go into Magical Reserves. Oh, we have three ranks here. Uh, and we'll go Knights and Champions. The Storm of Chaos Gallows. And we have two points here. We'll go Scarred Veteran, and then Woundmaker again. Okay, off. Okay, so we actually only have to replace two units. Um, do we just go with more? Yeah, let's just do this. Let's just do this, keep the numbers kind of even. And then we are out of movement here. Let's see, Path to Glory. Oh, so we can get <laughs> Vanguard Deployment. And Vanguard deployment for all the Chaos Knights, so that's pretty good. Lose a battle and survive is not something we're looking to do. Less than 50 control. This is probably not something we're going to do either. How are we looking on souls? You know what? I think now is a fine time to... Devote the corn. Closer to demonhood. I think that's definitely... Yeah, enables flaming attacks and fire resistance. We still have the Great, and we still have uh, Marked Hero. So... I think this is the direction we wanted to go in. Still go Chaos Strategist and Vengeful Scorcher. And we'll go three points into, uh, or two points into Deadly Blade and one point into Training. Great. So, this is looking pretty good now, and we're poised to take the Crystal Spires next episode. Just do some quick upgrades around here, and... Uh, give this guy some equipment, because I know we have it. Sword of Change. Summons a unit of Chaos Spawn. Let's just give him the Berserker Sword for now. And... 
that is good enough for me. All right. So, thank you guys again for joining us here on episode two of Warhost of the Apocalypse. Let's play Arkham the Ever Chosen. Uh, if you enjoyed what you saw here today, like, comment, and subscribe. And I can't wait to pick it back up with you guys next time, where we will take the Crystal Spires and decide where we're going next in this great big world. Thank you very much, and have a good day.